Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live, well, replay cast. We have a Master League Protoss opponent on Belshir Vestige. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he's spawning in the bottom right hand position. I'm in the top left, the boot Heron. So I'll be going for my standard versus Protoss, which is a super greedy opener. CC first, the natural, then the ninja base outside of that. And then tanks into ravens. Go to production tab. Yeah, I kind of guess in the way. Got rid of that. Um, however, there are two S uh, probes out on the field right now. The nice thing about walling off at your natural is you do see any probe coming in. Uh, the bad thing about being Ketrak is you don't actually notice it. <laughs> so, yeah, just going CC first. But the next structure I do have to make it my, to wall off the ramp, so we're going to do that now. Uh, there's a couple options when you see this. You can pull workers right away and spend your money on walling this off. So if you kill his um, probe, there's no follow-up. But that's just not as fun. So having to keep in mind when the pylon placement here, you gotta be worried about a cannon there getting protected or a cannon on the low ground. I like to keep two SCVs on the probe and put some more to knock the pylons down just in case they become a risk. Uh, at the same time, I should have taken double gas. I'm doing that now because that's gonna be the bottleneck for this build and uh, command center proxied. Lots more workers. I should probably put another SCV on that. With just one SCV chasing, there's methods that a probe can use to create separation distance. And I get structures down. I got those gas pipe later right away. Uh, there is no barracks on the way, so. Badly as this rush is going, had I built a barracks early on, I went CC first and didn't have a follow up. So all of a sudden, this can become a lot scarier. So we are pulling some more. My plan right now is like he's got that protected one, so I'm, I'm going to ignore that one and just kill all the other stuff he's making. This is just to buy me time. Now, as it turns out, I didn't notice that both of these pylons are actually quite low. Maybe I could have just gone right through all of that. But we can see I almost have my first 150 gas. Now, you got to decide how you want to play it. You need a defensive planetary at home to stay alive. Offensive planetary over here to shut down his economy. And, of course, um, high sec auto tracking to make your PF shoot as far as... Um, Photon cannons. I decide I still have some time at home, so I'm gonna go ahead and planetary his natural first. Or his main base, I mean. Anytime he builds a structure that's not in range of a cannon, try to put some damage on it. You never know how it'll turn out. Starting the planetary at home now and working up to the 100 gas to uh, get that inch bay going. So now instinct kicked in, my instinct kicked in for what I did at the beginning of Heart of the Storm when the ladder was busted. And I decided to play crazy rules, and one of the crazy rules is versus Protox. I wasn't allowed to make a barracks, so I just chased him around the map with uh, command centers. <laughs> but this is the time of the game where you should be making a barracks and putting it to use. But instead we're making another command center. <laughs> to planetary his inevitable expansion. Uh, proxy high sec auto tracking is on the way. These are within range of him, but I figure gas is more important than minerals, so. Actually, it's kind of not at this point, but that's okay. Meanwhile, he's setting up cannons trying to get that perfect position. Notice how my planetary is not shooting at this because it's outside of range. Planetaries have a range of 6, cannons have a range of 7. However, with high sec auto tracking complete, 
All of a sudden, these guys there are seven ranger within range for me now. Even killing a cannon here in production. Because let's face it, as much as even a full-time cannon rusher probably doesn't get to face high psychology track and planetary fortress too often. So he's continuing trying to find that magical position. He's like, oh, I must have built it one range too close. He's like, ah, it's not shooting at this one. This one's perfect. But it's not perfect. It's actually outside of range. So I did get a barracks down. Um, I think a barracks for a reaper or two and straight into factory after that's probably a good idea. He is expanding to his natural. I am expanding to his natural. So that's going missile turrets. You know, mothership core is a thing. So you can just like slowly pick away at your planetary. Unless you have a turret. I guess only one turret's necessary. As long as you can protect the SCVs, then you can repair. It's actually killing this pylon so he has a way to exit his probe safely. However. So starting those reapers. Already got one. And we're going to go looking for his proxy bases. I do have one SCV that went out on the map, I guess. I don't know what happened to it. It was chasing a probe at one time. It went retarded and just stopped there because he doesn't have a kill. So he never killed the probe. Maybe one of his chasing buddies did. I decided to send him out to build another command center. I'm assuming he's going to take one of these three bases next, which is correct, but, you know, the Reaper was there. He lets this Nexus finish, which seemed a little silly because it was only halfway done when the started getting shot by the planetary, but it actually works out for him. I think he gets around 800 minerals out of it. And when your alternative is no mining, it's worth spending 400 to get 800. Uh, it does have a stalker in my base, which I'm not realizing. I was hoping he wasn't watching, but he was. <laughs> it does walk within range of the planetary, though. So I'm able to finish that off. It's making a tech lab for a marauder. Tech lab for a siege tank. He's looking for a place to build a nexus anywhere he can mine from. So even here he attempted, but the rocks are in the destructible debris was in the way. He could use the the cannon to take it down if he wanted to. But he is not mining. His cannon rush is stuffed. He's got some minerals to spend. So he can build another nexus. And having to destroy another one of his own structures. It's time to get a nexus up. There we go. Nexus assists me and gives me a probe kill. Pretty sweet. Still looking around with this uh, Reaper. I was able to pick off the probe he had at the cannon rush. So that probe's attempt to expand didn't work either. This thing really going to use. Just in case some more stalker shenanigans, we're just putting a bunker with a marauder to protect from him getting behind my mineral line again. But it's looking not so good for him. This is where I normally go 2x, but uh, I had a couple of complaints about that in my last video, so we'll keep it slow and watch nothing. <laughs> uh, Mother Shakur is heading out. To harass. I didn't even consider this possibility. I have a wide open uh, mineral line here. However, he'll have to manually focus SCVs because I think he'll prioritize the planetary before SCVs. I did see his nexus, so we're trying to disrupt his mining with this Reaper. At the same time, trying to proxy out a siege tank as well.
Yeah, so Cannon Rush versus CC first. It kind of sucks. I mean, obviously, if you can't get a protected cannon up, then um, you're pretty good no matter what, like this game. But say he got this first cannon up, I could still do this exact same strategy. I'd probably have to planetary at home before his, his base. But I think it gives me a fighting chance. It's better than building really late barracks. I didn't actually notice this was even happening. Uh, I just leave all my SCVs in auto repair, hoping they'll repair the SCV making the uh, turret. But I think real micro would have made more sense and just manually right click the SCV that needs repair. I did lose my Reaper at that point, so he's starting to mine again. Shang up a couple of turrets to protect my siege tank. Not quite sure what to do with my money. My production right now is two structures. And with that siege tank, that should be the end of his mining. Uh, the can rush is being pushed back. I do have some command centers on the field. That is GG. So if your opponent builds a bunch of cannons, just build a bunch of planetaries. <laughs> Alright, GG everyone. Um... Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check the description for a thumbs up link. I'm out of here. Goodbye.